Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So just an update for you guys. We all know how Damian Lillard has been traded to the Milwaukee Bucks. And Drew Holiday has just been traded to the Boston Celtics. Now, trust me when I tell you guys, I am one of the biggest Miami Heat fans. That is the reason why I make all these videos, because I love the Miami Heat and I love basketball. I don't care how you want to look at it. Both of these trades are not good for the Miami Heat. I understand that it's Heat culture. We have young guys, Tyler Hero, Jimmy, Bam, Spo. I get all that. All of these trades that have went against the Miami Heat are not good. I mean, Damian Lillard, great, phenomenal player. It's a real shame how you know Joe Cronin and the Blazers pretty much spited the Miami Heat and pretty much traded them to our rivals. Same thing with the Boston Celtics. Joe Cronin has traded Drew Holiday to one of our rivals. It's really going to be us. You know, the Miami Heat, the Boston Celtics, and the Milwaukee Bucks. Of course, the 76ers and all these other teams will try to be competitive, but especially with James Harden, who doesn't want to be there, they're solely not going to win off that alone. You know, Joel Embiid, he's hurt every year. But there's a lot of other things that are really just disappointed with the Miami Heat. Let's start off with, first of all, the injuries, especially with all these, you know, championship runs that we've made in terms of going to the Eastern Conference Finals three out of the last four years, going to the NBA Finals two out of the last four years. It just sucks because of injury, how Tyler Hero, Kyle Lowry, we had all these different injuries, Bam out of bio during the 2020 run. It's a shame because I think that if we were at least healthy, at least one out of those four runs, we probably would have won the chip, in my opinion. Also, too, why are the Miami Heat letting guys like Max Schuess and Gabe Vincent walk for nothing? It makes absolutely no sense. We cannot pride ourselves in internal development, building up these young guys and actually getting them paid. And then they walk out of the door for nothing. I just think that's really pointless. It's not fair on our end that we're building these guys up, you know, making them better players, even though sometimes when they leave the Miami Heat, they really fall off the map. But we have to capitalize off of the assets that we're making, especially how we don't always have these high lottery picks. We're really banking on the development of our young players, the undrafted guys that we bring in. If we're going to build these guys up, we have to get something for them in return. We cannot let guys that contributed to Eastern Conference Finals runs, you know, the NBA final runs, just walk for absolutely nothing, in my opinion. Also, too, with this whole, you know, development of the young guys with Jaime Hawkins Jr. and Nikola Jovic. To be honest, we'll never really know the full extent of the whole Damian Lillard trade. It really comes down to Joe Cronin really not trying to deal with the Miami Heat. And I understand that. I just don't like how the Miami Heat really didn't make any type of moves whatsoever. You know, we we really didn't try to upgrade at the point guard position. Kyle Lowry is not going to get it done. And I understand that they're really banking on Tyler Hero and Josh Richardson, and that's fine, but they're not natural point guards. I just don't want to see Jimmy Bam and Tyler really have to carry this team. I understand it's heat culture, and I understand that we always have a good and competitive roster, but at the end of the day, we have to actually make good improvements. Guys around the East and the West have been getting better. They're continuing to improve. We also have to improve as well. But let me know what you guys think in the comments because I'm not saying that Jimmy Butler can't get it done. But it's going to be very, very tough when you're competing in this competitive Eastern Conference Finals. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers.